everyone and welcome to Usaito Adish. Today we are going to see how to play Mew New Dawn on PC using the amazing Bluestats 5 that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action, and it has faster performance than any other high end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Mew New Dawn and enjoy the game on our Windows PC and laptop, keyboard, mouse, and big screen thanks to Bluestats 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Mew New Dawn. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else, buddy, the first thing to do is to launch our main browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's continue. Going to the current URLI have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the screen. You don't need to type it, simply because there's a clickable link in the description of this video in the first main comment. After we click on the link, we get to the website of BlueStacks, which the Android emulator that we will load to play Mew New Dawn on our PC. It is now obvious that we have access to the code of running the emulator. So we are on the way to start downloading the Mew New Dawn by clicking on the button to play on BlueStacks, which is visualized here in green color. Instead of clicking on that button, of course, the download takes no time at all. Voila, we have located the download. It's an executable file. What we have to do now is to run the executable file, so we need to click on the file. Windows 10 user will be asked for permission to allow modifications to the laptop or device. We click Yes. I minimize the internet browser to find the installation software significantly better. The installation software is pretty simple. It is made up of two choices, install and setup path. I am going to clarify what setup path really does. You simply simply click on it, and then you realize that you display here the path where in fact the emulator is going to be placed. If we prefer to modify this directory, we need to click on that Browse button. So we pick another directory and set up the emulator precisely where we choose. I prefer to set it by default. I click on Back. Therefore, I click Install. Fantastic. The install begins and it's going to carry on in the download of all these megabytes that are shown on the computer screen. After you save it on your hard drive, it is likely to be more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed will go faster or slower based on the internet and according to the velocity of the emulator server. Today we're running extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5, you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage, and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator happens to be started on autopilot. As you can discover, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar which will pull up then when it seems the ending. The emulator is going to be launched for the first time. The fact is that the emulator has been started, here for the first time. Before we keep going, as you can see, it made a couple of app icons here on the computer desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks multi-instance. Note that the BlueStacks app icon will be one we're concerned with. At any time when we have to operate Mew New Dawn on the PC, we double-click on this app icon and launch the emulator. The BlueStacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we make the next phase, which is actually a requirement, and this is to log on to the Google Play Store. To execute this we will browse there to System Apps, we click on. And we'll just click on Play Store. As you understand the Google Play is presented. Right here we have got to log on. Currently once we're on this page, we must definitely execute the next step which is absolutely mandatory. So we mouse click on, sign in. Presently it shows, checking info. It could occasionally get blocked in, checking info, additionally it doesn't move ahead. In this case, you may attempt to connect to your account after a couple of hours it's going to most likely be repaired. At this time we can insert our email and password. The email really needs to be a Gmail email and its related password. As an example you can use the same exact email address you are using currently in your own YouTube account. Then I am going to insert my details and I will come back when I have done it. Voila, information typed in. Below is Google welcoming us and presenting us their terms of service. We will agree to them all by clicking, I agree. Following that, it makes it possible to save to the Google Cloud. You can also let it select it and it'll produce a backup of the data files on that device to Google Drive. I won't select it, you do what you want. We simply click on accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is started automatically and on autopilot. To set up the app game, we have to visit the emulator desktop for Android by clicking on the app icon designated in green. At this point that we are exploring the desktop of that Android emulator, we can see that we have now right here the install video game button. We just click on this button. On this page we come with the game app. 
How about we simply click now on the install option that I am displaying now in green. This action will launch the software installation. Straight away it is going to download and install the video game, it will take some time or it may possibly be very quick. It all is subject to on the internet access. This has already finished setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this specific button I'm presenting in green, if you want to run Mew New Dawn for the first time. You are already on the emulator desktop, then we're on the way to click that brand new Mew New Dawn software icon that was generated. Your game app is started for the very first time. So there we end up with it, I'm able to click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to talk about the volume level of this emulator. It's right here. We use the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume. This way we won't depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. And also to take pleasure in the experience to the maximum, we will switch on the large monitor, for which we have two options. This one is actually the very first one, we simply click on this particular software icon which I'm mentioning in green. Thus the monitor is maximized, enjoying one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. If ever we would like to have fun with the application using all the screen, we click this app icon. And as a result we would probably at present be experiencing the Android game in 100% screen function. To leave the full screen mode, just click the F11 key. And so we would undoubtedly at present end up being in regular display screen mode. At this point, I am on the way to explain you the keys mapping that is definitely rather useful. This means we will certainly be able to operate the game app more effortlessly. The very first task is to click on this computer keyboard icon. And at this time there you will have the ability to get the recommended controls. I'm going to keep the default configuration, though if you really want to adjust it, you may well do so without having problem. As you can observe, the emulator is fully in our own language. Occasionally, it occurs that your emulator is presented in the incorrect language, as an example, in Chinese language. And as a consequence to place it in the proper language we browse here to the cogwheel. And thus right here inside of many other controls, we mouse click on the language drop down. We may pick the language we like, English, Mandarin, and so on. After the language is chosen, we are going to save, the emulator will restart, along with the Android game, the next time we launch it, would also be in the picked language. Presently, you can find another information that we have to take into consideration, and this is that we will receive a message from Gmail indicating that a different device has been connected with our own Google account. It will question us if we are the individuals who have connected that device. Absolutely, we should not be troubled, simply because the emulator is emulating an Android device. So you can determine which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we go right here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. Be sure to browse here to the, model, selection, and there we determine that the emulator is simulating a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for our video user demo. I sincerely hope you appreciated it, particularly that you found it interesting. If so, bring it a nice like, subscribe, and any feedback, questions or suggestions, let them in the comment box below. Simply click on any of these online videos that are showing up on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the upcoming instructional videos. Bye.